Today we're in San Luis Obispo. We're at Laguna Middle School, home of the Lancers, and today we're here to... Today we're at Laguna Middle School. We're in San Luis Obispo. And with us right now, we have seventh grader Luke. You ready? Yep. All right, let's go. We're going to order some numbers from least to greatest, and you'll provide me with a couple of those numbers right now. All right. So go ahead and uh, give me four numbers between one and ten. Five, three, seven, and two. Okay. So if I have... Those numbers right there. First of all, would you be so kind as to read those for me? 5,372, 53.72, 57.32, and 5,732. Okay. You read them perfectly. Is there another way that you could read this instead of saying 53.72? Is there another way to say that? Yeah. How would you say that? 53 and 72 hundredths. Perfect. All right. So, we want these in order. Would you like to go smallest? The largest, um, least to greatest, or greatest to least? Greatest to least. Greatest to least. So we're going to go with the largest one first. Yep. All right. Okay. Which one is the largest? Because they all have the same digits in there, two, three, seven, and five, right? Yep. Okay. So what's the first thing you need to look for? I need to look at the thousands place because that's the largest place in all these okay. numbers. And both of these are... Um, the same one, so I look at the hundreds place. Okay, so you're talking about this number and this number? Yep. Okay. And then if we look at the hundreds place, we have 700 and 300, and 700 is bigger. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and rewrite that someplace so that we can start our order from greatest to least. Okay, so we've used this one. Yes. So I'm just going to kind of put a dash line through that so we don't right. use it. All right, what's next? And then uh, 5,372 is the only number that still has a thousandths place, so that would be next. Okay. Then should I put it underneath? Well, it's up to you. Would you like to put it underneath or would you like to put it next to it? Under underneath. And we've used that one. And then we look at these two. So they're both, they both have a whole number, and then a decimal point, and then they're hundredths. So we look at the tens place, they're both the same. Perfect. So we go to the ones place. There's three and seven, and again, seven is greater than three, so that would go, that number would go first. Even though this has a larger fractional part, 72 over 32, you're saying this number is larger altogether. Yes, because it has a bitter, bigger whole number. Perfect. All right, so we've used that one. And then the only number left is 53 and 72 hundredths, so we'd put that one. So let's right. go ahead and take a look at them right now in order from greatest to least. So we have 5,700. Yep. Right? We want to read the whole number, right? Yep. Just like 5,700 something, 5,300. Yep. That makes sense. Now we go down to 50. Yep. Makes sense, right? 57, 53. Luke, you took all of those numbers. They had the same digits in there. Perfectly done. Nice work. All right. 